Hi, welcome to Total Health Channel. Thank you for being with us from day to day. Uh, let's ask God's blessing on our uh, daily bread uh, that we're going to consider today. Heavenly Father, thank you for life and for uh, your word, which is a light unto our path. Help us as we consider just a few minutes from uh, one of your best loved authors. And uh, thank you for this time together. Help us to see things through your Holy Spirit. Please do exceeding abundantly for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. The uh, lesson this week is about mercy and judgment from the Psalms and Proverbs. And uh, the lesson for today is focused on Psalm 22. It's a short psalm, and so I thought I would just read the entire thing. Uh, the lesson caption is, Do something, God. And uh, <laughs> uh, maybe uh, David was exasperated, but it, it starts out at, uh, saying that God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. And he see, I think David is seeing people as setting themselves up as gods, or maybe they are gods, because uh, uh, we'll get to that in, later. How long will you judge unrighteous or unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice in, to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and needy and rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither they, uh, will they understand, and they walk in the darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Well, that's, uh, there's a lot in that, actually, and just like to focus on a, a couple, three concepts. Number one is uh, he's calling God to judge. And the idea is that in the book of the in the Bible, the book of Judges, they were deliverers. So he's wanting God to deliver the poor, the needy, uh, those that have been uh, um, gotten unrighteous uh, things that have occurred to them. So uh, we can look to God for that. Daniel, uh, his name means God is my judge, and God delivered him uh, in the first six chapters. He could have died in any one of those chapters for offending the king, and uh, yet he was. Uh, alive and well and delivered. So uh, we can look forward to that too. Second uh, concept that I'd like to focus on is uh, it mentions the, the um, foundations of the earth. That was in uh, verse 5. Uh, it says they are out of course. I think that God gives us physical manifestations to illustrate spiritual truths. And my best example is that is heart disease. Uh, we have spiritual heart disease. You know, our hearts, Christ said, don't let your hearts become overcharged with surfeiting, drunkenness, cares of this life. But we're so focused on those things and getting more that uh, uh, America's number one uh, cause of death has said to be is heart disease. Well, really, <laughs> I, I can say that it's, uh, it's really number two because drugs uh, to prevent heart disease when people want to do their own thing anyway and just take a, a pill for their cholesterol or their blood pressure or their blood sugar uh, and they continue on. They're not repenting and uh, they will die from the pill uh, quicker maybe than from the, from the original disease. And so uh, I just say uh, th that's uh, the, the issue is that we can live well but the, the manifestation of, of uh, Heart disease is physical heart disease, and the same uh, may be true uh, for this this nation. He gives a physical act to reflect uh, that says the found the foundations. He was referring really uh, David in the, in the psalm to the foundations of, of social um, the the laws that God has given them. They're they're running out of course. But uh, I'm saying that God is going to give a physical manifestation that the, the foundations of this nation, America, are eroded and changed. And now, uh, and when we say that, physical foundations, we're thinking of earthquake. The earth is going to shake. Uh, it has, you know, we, we've recently had earthquakes in the news, but I'm sure we are coming to one that's, if we can believe the word of God and uh, the clues, we are coming to a time of a huge earthquake. And that is also signaled in that, that last verse when he says, Arise, O God, judge the earth. Well, uh, in Isaiah 2, it talks about, uh, verse 12, the day of the Lord will be upon all the proud and wicked. And verse 21 says, Arise, O God, and, uh, for, for God, will, uh, God will arise 
and shake mightily the earth, or in the King James, terribly the earth, as if it will bring terror, I think. Uh, the message will be, fear God, give glory to him, the time of his judgment has come. Uh, it will introduce the end time period of seven years in which people will either run toward God because they have learned that he's loving, good, and wise, and can deliver them, or they will run from God because they're bent on doing their own thing and or don't believe in him. And so uh, in the end, there'll be two groups, and there'll be many on God's side, but there'll be many that will be lost as well. And uh, hopefully we can represent that time that's coming and help people wake up and be ready for it before it comes. I got an email just today from a woman who liked the, uh, the three pages, and I, I, by the way, I'll make it available to you if you want. If you didn't get it, it was uh, uh, something that I sent that it was about prophetic interpretation that we must prophesy again. That's what Christ said in Revelation 10 verse 11, based on uh, the bitter belly experience. Again would mean giving the same message that caused that bitter belly, but with a better understanding and relevant to our time. Because time of judgment is impending on America. Uh, it was not uh, uh, that way in 1844. It was a different judgment they saw in retrospect, an investigative judgment. But the judgment that's coming soon is not investigative. Judgments are going to fall. And he is going to even use us, some of us, uh, to like Elijah who brought judgment on Israel. And Moses brought judgment. Water turned to blood and so on. That's the second seal in Revelation 8.8, 8, etc. So need to understand how we can participate, play, uh, uh, be on God's side and, and uh, help with whatever needs to be done. So uh, I thank you for listening to this and considering it, that there's more to consider. I, I do have a, a book that uh, for one more day today, it is uh, not left behind. If you go to uh, Amazon and type in not left behind and my name, Richard Ruling, you should find it for one dollar. Would uh, wish that you could uh, uh, read a, t uh, write a paragraph or two, something that will encourage others to get it. That's part of letting our light shine. Uh, let's not be neutral in this and just, uh, oh well, uh, another day, but uh, stand up for something that we believe in. As Peter Marshall once said, Lord, help us to stand for something lest we fall for anything. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, America is doing that, and thank you for uh, your help in this.